Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will explain you how you will declare a dynamic array in Visual Basic .NET. Let's start the session. Right now, I have declared an array with the name of my array. It means there are three elements in that array. And array type is integer. On index number 0, value is 30. On index number 1, value is 40. On index number 2, value is 90. If I want to show the output of the array, then what I will do, I have written a loop for k equal to 0 to my array is the name of the array dot length minus 1 and you will write console dot write in one line my array and k is the index because I am controlling the loop by using variable k. That's why I have written k. Okay, now I want to run this program. I want to check the output of this simple program. The output is 30, 40, 90 and 0. Why it is 0? Because array length is 3. I will write one more element. My array 3 equal to 100. Now I want to run this program. 30, 40, 90 and 100. Okay, correct. Now I have written console.write line enter the number of elements that you want to more elements in the existing array. Okay. N is undefined. I will, I will define here. Okay. Now I have written this read him that is going to be defined read if declaration of array. What's the name is my array and preserve. The purpose of preserve means that will keep the previous elements also. Okay, n is the number of elements that I want to add more and plus 3 is already there. Now here I have written for x equal to, for x equal to 0 to n minus 1 and enter the value. This is a message and where value will be stored, value will be stored into variable x plus 3. Okay, x means value of x is 0 plus 3 because I have already entered 3 elements there. When I will run this and I want to check the output. Enter the number of elements. Suppose I want to enter the 4 elements more. 14, 25, 36 and 58. The value is 30, 14, 90. They did not start. They did not return here 100. But they have written override with 14, 25, 36, 58 and 0. Okay, what I will do? I will add here x equal to 4. Okay, how many elements you want? 4. First element is 14. Second element is 25. Third element is 36 and 98. Now it will show me 30, 40, 90, 100 is already there. And how many value elements are adding more? 14, 25, 36, 98. Four elements they have added more. In this way, you can add more as you want. Okay, in this way, you can declare a dynamic array with the dynamic values. Now, I want to write a program that will search a particular values and it will show me whether value is existing or not. This is a just a printing of simple blank line. Console dot write line. This is a message. Enter the searching value. And value will be stored into variable key. I am going to define a variable key. N comma key. Both are integers. Okay. I have written dim flag as boolean equal to false. This is just indicator that will check whether value has been found or not. Okay. For x equal to 0 to my array dot length minus 1 and in this loop I am going to be compare value of key equal to my array of x. It will check the elements of all the elements one by one starting from 0 to length minus 1. If it will find then it will change the value of flag is in true. In case of true then it will shows me value is found. By default if my program is not able to find the value by default flag contain the value is false and if flag equal to false then console dot write line searching value is not existed else console dot write line searching value is found when you will run this program 
enter the element enter the number of elements suppose you want to enter five elements more 47 58 69 25 and 65 okay these are the elements 30 40 90 100 47 58 69 25 and 65 suppose you want to search 50 50 is there no 50 is not there it will show me searching value is not existed okay i i'm going to run it again now i want to add five elements more 14 28 39 67 49 okay now i want to find the value is 28 okay they will shows me searching value is found okay this is the program you can check it and if you need any help or anything else you can write me in comment okay thank you jazakallah khair